The Permian era is the last geologic phase of the Paleozoic era. The Permian period lasted from the end of the Carboniferous period to the beginning of the Triassic period. It began roughly around 298.9 million years ago, and ended something around 252.2 million years ago. The Permian period is named after Perm, a Russian area where the rocks deposited during this period of time are particularly highly developed. Some Permian rock beds are known for their fossils, strata of the Russian platform have diverse vertebrate fauna as well as fossil insects and plants. Glaciation was widespread at the start of the Permian period, and climatic belts in the latitudinal area were well developed. Throughout the Permian period, the climate warmed, and by the time the period ended, dry and hot conditions had become widespread, causing a crisis in Permian marine and terrestrial life. The assembling of lesser continents into the Pangaea supercontinent may have contributed to this significant climatic shift. Pangaea, which was encircled by an enormous world ocean called Panthalassa, absorbed the majority of Earth's land surface. Talking about the environment, in the Permian era, terrestrial plants diversified greatly, and insects evolved quickly as new habitats were formed following the plants. Several significant reptile lineages, which include those that eventually helped the evolution of mammals in the Mesozoic era, originally arose during this time period. During the Permian period, the Earth saw the largest mass extinction in its history. Only 10% or less of the species existing during the Permian's peak biodiversity survived to the end of the period, indicating that the mass extinction was severe. The Permian period is a pivotal period in both the evolution of life and the history of the Earth's continents. The Permian world was characterized by a supercontinent, Pangaea, and Panthalas, an enormous ocean basin, with the Tethys Seas as its branch, which is a big indentation in the tropical eastern Pangaea. Coming to the distribution of land, the northwestern part of Gondwana collided and joined with southern parts of Laurussia which was a Craton, also known as Yaramerica, during the early Permian epoch, resulting in the Alleghenian orogeny, which occurred in the region, that would become North America, and the continuation of the Hercunian orogeny, which occurred in northwestern Europe. Following its fusion with Angara, a portion of the Siberian Craton, during the Uralian orogeny, Pangaea was fully assembled by the middle of the early Permian epoch. Let's look at the sea levels back then. Sea level rise and decline are clearly documented in Permian layers. Changes in sea level are frequently linked to changes in climate. Glaciation is believed to be the cause of some large-scale, short-duration oscillations, such as those found around the Permian period's end. Others are currently investigating whether Milankovitch cycles, which are adjustments in Earth's axis and long-term orbital patterns of Earth around the Sun. These directly affect sea level, despite their periodic recurrence being connected to glacial events. Ever imagined what was the climate like, back then? During the Permian period, the joining of many massive land masses into the supercontinent of Pangaea, resulted in global warming, and the formation of dry and arid desert climates. Warm surface ocean currents were being deflected into areas closer to the poles, and cool water upwelling, developed along Pangaea's west coast. Where land masses met, extensive mountain building episodes occurred, and the newly formed high mountain ranges had a significant impact on regional and local terrestrial climates. Coming to the question, what was life like, in the Permian period? The Permian period had a wide range of living beings, including a marine life that was likely even more diverse than that of today. As the environment warmed, many lineages that began in the early Permian, with only a few species, and genera, gradually expanded into new families and superfamilies. Through the Middle Permian Epoch, communities became more complex, and the generic diversity rose, between 272.3 to 259.9 million years ago. Significant environmental changes towards the end of the Middle Permian Epoch were so abrupt in tropical shallow water marine ecosystems that many groups were extinct, and just a few of the remaining groups survived until the late Permian era. 
During the Permian period, Earth's crustal plates joined together to form the supercontinent of Pangaea. Marine species like the gastropods, brachiopods, cephalopods, and crinoids were found in Panthalassa's enormous ocean. Reptiles had mostly replaced amphibians on land. The end of the Permian period saw the most severe mass extinction event in Earth's history. We hope you liked the video. Subscribe to Explified so we can bring you new content every week. See you in the next one.